For the first time since the mid-1980s, professional football is back. The USFL returns to Memphis, Tennessee. They're ready here in Memphis for the USFL. We are to kickoff coming up. Fourth yeah. down. Yeah. This is it. See that look in our eyes? He's got room. Our energy. And they're running with this it. excitement. There's certainly a buzz in the air. Anticipation yeah. only this sport can provide. Believe it. And here records are at the USFL is in business. It's the United States Football League. You did any better than Last you? year, had it all. And we're running it back. Got a man open. And now, well, it's going to be even bigger. It's one game at a time, one play at a time. More action. Looking deep. More passion. More football. It is caught for the touchdown. Running room, and there he goes. I love this guy. This league stands on rich history and is again a standard for the spring. Oh, what a beautiful over-the-shoulder grab. You cannot throw the ball better than that, folks. Look out. USFL is next on Fox. The Memphis Showboats, they've been waiting a long time and finally back on the field in Tennessee. You can see it in the crowd. We saw it driving to the stadium. They're ready in Memphis as the Memphis Showboats are back starting off the season against the Philadelphia Stars. Hi, everybody. Alongside my partner, Mark Sanchez, I'm Kevin Kugler. There's a buzz in Memphis. They're fired up, Mark, for the Showboats to be back in the USFL. They really are, and they're fired up. This crowd's ready to go, ripping and roaring. And who better to start for the Showboats? Then Brady White, I mean, a guy who knows this stadium inside and out. He's only had one loss in his career as a Memphis Tiger in this stadium. Look for him to take command, have some fun today. Back home for him, he's going to have a blast. Yeah, he was a GA on the Memphis Tigers football coaching staff a year ago. Now he's back on the field in which he set the all-time passing yardage and touchdown mark for the Memphis Tigers. On the flip side of this, with the Philadelphia Stars coming to town, Case Cookus comes to town. And that takes us to our Above and Beyond, brought to you by Jersey Mike's. And Case Cookus went above and beyond last year, took his team to the USFL Championship against the Birmingham Stallions, and was playing some tremendous football until this moment. A broken leg ended his game, ended his season. He had been terrific in the first three quarters of this game. 222 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, injured in the fourth quarter. Stars were up. They end up falling 33-30 to Birmingham, who, of course, won last year's USFL championship. But Case Cookus opted to come back this year for a second go-round with the Philadelphia Stars. And, Mark, you and I were talking with him this week and before this game. He really believes this team can finish what they almost got done last year in the championship. Well, you're exactly right. And with the starting quarterback back, remember, he emerged as the starter, took the reins, and took over, had this team really cooking with gas and was on fire in that final game until he got hurt. But now he's back, and you got to let this kid cook, literally and figuratively. He makes food for his O-line, okay? He got these guys ready with a pregame meal, and now he gets to go test out that ankle. That'll be the final test, really, in that game between his ears. Is that ankle ready? This will prove to him that he's ready to continue his career in the USFL and keep this team rolling. Well, there's one thing to do it in practice, one thing to do it in a right. scrimmage. It's another thing to do it in a game. He's anxious to see what he can do today against this Memphis Showboats team. They played in Tampa Bay last year so Todd Haley's got some returners back from that squad move now to Memphis and Case Cook is trying to see what he can do against these showboats we are getting ready for kickoff the USFL season about to begin here in Memphis it's season number two of the reborn USFL and let's head down on to the field it's time for our first national anthem of this new season Memphis today's colors are being presented by the 164th Airlift Wing Honor Guard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please rise to honor America and those who protect our freedom at home and abroad. Performing our national anthem today, International Opera Soprano and Memphis. 
Memphis native, please welcome Kellen Asperian. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what the proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rattling the bombs bursting That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the land of the free and the Thank you, Callan Asperian. Our national anthem in the books. We are ready to kick off the 2023 USFL season straight ahead on Fox.